From a sea sponge the size of a minivan to the incredibly rare and bizarre ghost shark, here are 12 wonders of the deep seas. Welcome to Deep Sea Sundays. Hey, I hope your weekend's going well. And before we dive in, let's give a shout out to Mizabella. And I hope I got that name right. Well, she says she really likes our Deep Sea Sunday videos, so we want to thank you for those nice words and for being a subscriber. Hope you enjoy this episode. Cheers. Number 12, Undersea Mushroom. Now that is a bit of a misnomer. This is actually an undersea animal, not a fungus. It was located more than 3,000 feet deep on the ocean floor of Victoria, Australia, and is thought to be related to jellyfish or to sea anemones. Although they could be something entirely different. Like we said, research is still ongoing. What is known is that the critter is small, its stalk measures less than a third of an inch long, and its cap is less than a half inch across. Basket Star. While it looks like an alien life form, it's actually found on Earth, albeit under the waves. The strange, writhing creature resembled an octopus, but it was actually a creature identified as a basket star, a distant relation to starfish. A fisherman in Singapore reeled it in, along with clumps of seaweed that are abundant in the region. Even though it appears to have hundreds of tentacles wriggling about, it has only five arms, and those arms are divided into branchlets that are more dexterous. The critters feed mainly on zooplankton, and usually inhabit waters around 6,000 feet deep. Name that beast. Now we're going to include this one to see if you're really paying attention here. Can you identify this shaggy deep sea monster that washed up on a beach in Cornwall in the UK? It's pretty big at around 40 feet long and weighing who knows how much. Well, if you haven't guessed by now, this is not really an animal at all that washed up from the sea, even though a lot of people thought so. It's actually a massive tree trunk, and what appears to be shaggy hair is really a tangle of writhing seaweed tentacles and barnacles. Experts think the trunk was likely uprooted from the Florida Everglades, then spent months adrift at sea. Along the way, it picked up the seaweed and goose barnacles, which appear kind of like clams. They often attach themselves to driftwood and ship's hulls. Did you know goose barnacles are considered a delicacy in Spain and Portugal? The Kissinger Gigas Jellyfish. This venomous critter was discovered off the coast of Australia and measures about as long as a person's arm, and it packs a nasty sting. Its venom can induce pain, vomiting, and in extreme cases, even heart failure. But it has no tentacles, unlike most jellies. That's left experts wondering how the creature captures its prey, or how it delivers its sting, for that matter. Some researchers have suggested the animal might initially have had tentacles, but sheds them as part of a defense mechanism. Or it's conjectured that their bell-shaped structure may contain enough venom to void the need for tentacles altogether. undersea crop circles. These precisely sculpted geometric patterns had been found on seabeds off the coast of Japan for decades, and marine biologists were baffled by the unique designs. While there were some exotic theories, including it being the work of extraterrestrials, there was a more earthbound reason. You can see the intricate shapes and what crafted them in these pictures by underwater photographer Yoji Okada. The patterns are actually created by male pufferfish for use as a spawning nest. The newly discovered species uses a vibrating fin on its body to dig burrows and pile up sand to create the so-called undersea crop circles, all in an effort to attract females. And the patterns serve a function. The ridges and grooves serve to protect the eggs from the effects of ocean currents and potential predators. Ghost Octopus now, here is a wonder that was found in the really deep seas, at around 14,000 feet. A remote operated vehicle made the discovery when it was exploring waters in the Hawaiian archipelago. There it found a bizarre ghost-like octopus that was sitting on a rock. Experts say the pale coloration is due to the lack of chromatophores, or the pigment cells possessed by most cephalopods. It's not thought to have been previously described, but researchers regard it as an insert octopod, meaning it lacks Theory or wispy strands usually located on the tentacles of some octopuses. This mysterious ghost octopus is the only inserit octopod yet discovered at such extreme depths. You think it should be called Casper? 
sea sponges. Now from their appearance, it can be easy to forget that sea sponges are living animals, especially considering they have no true organs or tissues. They typically range in size from under an inch to around six feet, but a discovery made in 2016 blows those stats out of the water. Researchers located a sponge in the isolated waters around Hawaii and Midway Atoll at some 7,000 feet deep by using a remote operated vehicle. And this sponge measured an amazing 12 feet wide and 7 feet long. And that's about the size of a minivan. That would make it the largest sea sponge on record. And while there is no way to reliably verify its age, experts say it could be one of the oldest living animals on Earth. Portuguese man of war. Now this critter is often mistaken for a jellyfish, but it is in fact a siphonophore, which is actually a colony of individual organisms called zoids. Some great pictures of the creatures were captured in Australia by Matthew Smith. Because the Portuguese man of war has bioluminescence, it can make ocean waves shimmer with a neon blue coloration. Experts think that siphonophores and jellyfish make use of bioluminescence as a way to deter predators. They're usually found in tropical waters where they are carried along by ocean currents and tides. Siphonophores have no means to propel themselves, but that doesn't mean they're helpless, or harmless for that matter. The critters are known to carry a powerful venom, and the painful sting can pose a potential danger to humans. Glasshead Barrelli Fish. Now these strange looking creatures get the strange name from their four eyes, two of which are pointing upwards to scan for potential prey, predators, or paramours, as the case may be. A second set of eyes are located on the sides of its head and have a silvery sheen. Those eyes contain an additional lens and retina that allow the critter to see below and to the side of it, essentially giving the fish 360 degree vision. Researchers who caught a specimen in the Tasman Sea between Australia and New Zealand said the fish had a type of eye that was previously unknown. Reflector eyes are often found in invertebrates or crustaceans, but to find them in fish is considered unusual. Barrel eye fish can be found at depths exceeding 3,000 feet and inhabit waters from the eastern Atlantic Ocean to the western Pacific. Ghost Shark An incredibly rare ghost shark was caught on video in waters near Hawaii and California, and according to researchers, that's around 6,000 kilometers outside of the normal range. A remote operated vehicle spotted six of the creatures nearly 500 meters below the surface. Experts say the animals might belong to an entirely new species of chimera fish, but they won't know for certain until they can catch one of the creatures to test the DNA. Also identified as a blue ratfish, the pointy-nosed critter has never before been observed in the wild, and only one of the critters has ever been caught. That was near Australia, New Zealand, and New Caledonia back in 2002. Did you know it's called a ratfish because its jaw is fused to its skull, and that gives its face a rat-like appearance? They're also known to have retractable gonads on the foreheads, but the purpose of that still remains a mystery. What do you think? Gigantic Giant Squid Researchers found a squid about the size of a minibus in the isolated Ross Sea of Antarctica. After keeping the critter on ice for around eight months, experts thawed it out and found the animal weighed around 770 pounds. It was a female and had eight arms that stretched more than three feet each and had two tentacles that went some seven feet long. Experts hope that analysis of the huge squid will yield more data on where the animals fit in the overall marine-based food chain, in addition to identifying their dietary habits and life cycle. Now, when you hear about a squid this enormous, it's understandable that they could have served as the basis for the legendary Kraken. Ocean Sunfish. Now these critters also go by the name Mola Mola, and they typically weigh around 2,200 pounds, ranking them as the heaviest bony fish so far discovered. Their bizarre appearance makes them look like a huge fish head with a tail attached. Its flat body will usually measure around six feet long, and with the fins extended, they can be as long as they are tall. We found some stories that give an idea of how massive these critters can get. Some fishermen in Sulawesi, Indonesia, caught a specimen that weighed around one and a half tons and measured more than six feet long, which is kind of in keeping with the animal's normal specifications. Unfortunately, this critter was found in 
bad condition and perished before it could be returned to the sea. And then there's a gigantic gigantic specimen that was reportedly caught in 1910, and you can see how huge it is in an ancient photograph. It easily dwarfs the onlookers. We couldn't find much more information about this one, although some sources indicate it was caught off Catalina Island in California. Now, we did note that Guinness lists the largest ever sunfish on record as being around 14 feet long and weighing more than 4,900 pounds, although the stats are unverified. It was said to have been struck by a steamship in waters off Sydney in 1908. 